Hey, it's 2018, and uh, it's, we're still playing this game. So I found that uh, it was pretty hard to do the save editor or the modding, especially on a Mac. And so this is for all the Mac users out there who are still playing KOTOR, which I guess there's a lot of them. So I was just recently playing through it myself, and uh, so I thought I'd do an updated video on how to do the save editor on a Mac. And... Uh, Maybe I'll do a mods video as well for this awesome game that's still relevant today and still great and still a lot of fun. So, I got Darth Revan is going to help me with this video. You know, it sits on my desk. So, first thing first, you'll see I pulled up this uh, the applications that you'll need is is this Wine application which runs uh, runs Windows apps on the Mac and. Uh, there's other applications that do it as well, but Wine I found to be the easiest, and actually what makes it even easier is this program called Wine Bottler. So rather than searching for Wine, just do a search, or I can add a link for Wine Bottler, and that'll do just everything for you. It makes it a whole lot easier, you'll see. And uh, so let's get started. So anyway, you need that first, get that loaded on, and then what you need is the save editor, and I use 3.33 or 3.3.3. There's newer versions, but they don't tend to work very well on a Mac. At least I couldn't get them to work. So this is the one that I get to use to work. Uh, it seems to work fine. So let's start it up. And immediately you'll see uh, this is Wine here, and it says run directly in Wine. That's what I do. You can make a, convert to a simple OS 10 application. So just don't do that. Just run directly in Wine. I just always hit go. And it'll start it up. So I have KOTOR 1 on the Mac Store, and I have KOTOR 2 on Steam. So I got both versions going. And uh, where is it? Here it is. Okay, so first thing that comes up is it's not going to find the directory. That's common. Can't find the directory for KOTOR 1 or 2, so we're going to help it find the directory here. That's sort of the hard part. <clears throat> so... Here we do. Uh, you got to right click on either of these games, depending on which one you're playing. You have to right click and then change the path. So we'll go change path for Sith Lords. Go right over my face here. Um, and it's going to come up, uh, this going to browse for the folder. So go on this top blank folder thing and you're going to go on, you want to do users. If you went straight into the main library, you won't find the game. It's got to be in your user library wherever you installed it. So for me, it's mine is right here users, your personal user account, and then library, and then application support. You want this one, not the second one. Well, you'll see there's nothing in the second one, whatever it's for. So application support in library. Scroll down. All this garbage. You saw Knights of the Old Republic was in there, but I'm looking for. So basically, you're going to try to find where the save file is. And uh, usually they're in here. And for Steam, sometimes they're in the Steam one, but I found mine were in here. So for the mods, you want to go to the game data files, which are in a different location. It tends to put the saves in like your My Documents folder or here in this application support. It should be here. So for the second one, here it is, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and there it saves. Now, if I was to click on this or click on one of these individual saves and hit load, uh, I'm going to get an error message eventually. There it is. Can't find it. So what you have to do is just the top level folder where the saves are. So right click. And we'll go in here. Users. Me. Davis Live. Library. Oh, shoot. Try that again. Come on. Get a little click happy there. Change the path. Move it off my face. Uh, users. This is where I made the majority of my mistakes. It's like I could not figure out. It kept giving me that same error message. And so here is where the saves folder is. So I want to be clicked on this top level folder where the saves folder is. So if I clicked on this, then it should load my saves. Yay. Here's the saves. 
The most recent is going to be the one on the bottom, which is opposite from what KOTOR does. You want to click to open it up. And there's various things that you can change. You can change your name if you're unhappy with it. And uh, sound set. Main thing I usually just change is the attributes. It'll boost my stats a little bit. And uh, when you do that, you want to uh, change it here. But just doing that is not going to do anything to the save file. Even if I hit apply, it doesn't do it. Uh, what you got to do is hit commit changes. And once I hit commit changes, then it actually saves it. Okay. And now it's going to be different in the game. And uh, you can find your other characters, the NPCs, right here. Right now it's a little bit uh, hard to see them. Here's Atten. You can change his stuff. And you sort of have to just trial and error to find your different characters to change it. And you can give yourself some more credits or party XP. And the skills and feats, you'll find that you... Actually, for the longest time, I couldn't get this to work. Uh, so what you have to do, this is good for like quick changes. But what you have to do in order to change everything to have access to the skills and the feet, or not the skills, the feats and the force powers, you need to put your saves inside the game data file. And so I'll show you that right now. So let's do that. Let's. Uh, Close that. So what we have to do, again, library, application support. And so here is where my saves are. And what I want to do is put them where the game data files are. Just library, application support. Because you want to scroll down and find uh, Steam folder. Uh, in order to get to the game data files. Now, if it's, you bought the Mac Store version, it's not going to be in the Steam folder. Um, what you could do, so this is my Mac Store version. I don't even know where. If you right click on the application icon here, you can put Show Package Contents. And here it is. We're going to Contents, and Kotor Data, and that's where you'd want to put the saves file to have. Uh, I'll show you what it does. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this saves file. Oh, we're going to open that up first. Um, so Steam and then Steam Apps. Let me just so you can see it better. Steam Apps and then Common. Here's Knights of the Old Republic 2. And here's the app itself. Again, show package contents. Contents. And here's in this game data folder. That's where I want to put my saves. So drag saves into game data. And there it is. Restart. KOTOR save game editor. Whew. Open, open, open. Yes, we know you can't find the save directory. Here we go. And now, when I look for the path, I'm going to go to the, where the game data is. Library. Application support. This time I'm going into Steam. Steam, where are you? Steam. Steam apps. Common. Nice little Republic 2. Uh, KOTOR app, which is just like show package contents. Here's contents. Game data. And that's where I'm going to stop if I go on more. There's saves, but I don't want to click on saves. I want to click on game data. Once it loads all my saves. Now, once it's in this game data file, then I have access to the skills and the force powers and stuff. So now I can click on feats. There we go. Now it actually shows. Looks a little bit better. I have more access here to my feats and powers. Here, where's my powers? You can add and remove stuff. And where's the powers? Oh, it's under classes, I think. Yeah. Jedi Weapon Master. And here's where you can manipulate some of the powers, add some new ones and stuff. So putting it in the game data section, the putting your saves folder there is uh, gives you, it makes it a lot easier to work with. Um, 
I don't always do that. I just do it the quick way because it's quicker. Here in skills, they actually tell you which skill is which rather than just having to guess. Okay, and then also in here, you can mess with your inventory. Now, let's see for this. So I have it in here. Oh, I do have it. This uh, Beoder armor, I got a mod for it, and it, I wasn't able to get it in the game, so I had to uh, use this to add it to my inventory. <clears throat> and you can go through and add different stuff to your inventory. Anyway, pretty cool. That's the save game editor. And now, once you save that, commit the changes, um, then I need to put this saves folder back to where it's supposed to go which is, for this game, it's right here. Otherwise, it won't work. So that's that. If you guys want me to uh, do any kind of uh, mods video, I can do that as well. And that's that. Any questions, let me know. Peace out.